Hello people, Arab minds have worked in different fields from astronomy to medicine. We will talk about the remarkable achievements of one of the most extraordinary individuals in history, Ibn Sina, a Muslim scientist who lived from 980 to 1036 AD. Ibn Sina was not just any ordinary physician but a trailblazer, a revolutionary and a pioneer in his time. He was the first to discover that water transmits germs and causes diseases, which was a revelation that would change the course of medical history. His work in dividing diseases into categories laid the foundation for modern medical practices that we still use today. But Ibn Sina's genius did not stop there. He was the first to distinguish between organic paralysis and paralysis caused by a central cause in the brain. And he described the symptoms of elephantiasis, a condition that causes the limbs to swell. He also discovered anthrax medicine studied the blood circulation in the fetus and used anesthesia for surgery. It made him an absolute medical marvel. Ibn Sina was not only a brilliant medical mind, but a true renaissance man. His book al Kanun examined the functions of organs and pathology, described them, treated them, and formulated their treatments. It was a reliable source of knowledge in the field of medicine for six centuries and it was printed in Rome in 1593 in Arabic language. But that's not all folks. Ibn Sina's interest in other fields such as geology and philosophy led him to make groundbreaking discoveries and theories about earthquakes, earth layers and valley deposits. He was truly ahead of his time and an inspiration to us all. In conclusion, Ibn Sina was a pioneer, a revolutionary, and a trailblazer whose contributions to medicine and other fields have had a lasting impact. His discoveries and insights have helped shape our understandings of human body and its function, and his works remain relevant and influential even to this day.